Hello, I'm Solaj Alfred. Welcome to the HTS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The Mindo Philip Park was once again the venue for the opening of the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival on Friday, 5th May. The reviews on the venue have been very positive. There were no reports of any serious antisocial or criminal conduct. The opening of the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival set the stage for what is shaping up to be a bumper festival with activities scheduled for communities island-wide. So we ask, should the Mindu Philip Park once again be considered as a venue to host major sporting and cultural events? We took to the streets to get your opinion, and here is what you had to say. I will not comment. I feel it's a good idea for everybody. It's a good idea to bring national events on? Yes. Why? Well, for the first time, for the first time we're having jazz, march, uh, not only jazz, maybe opening of carnival too, can even be there. Well, for me, as long as there's necessary securities in place. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. It was a success, and I think, why not? Bring some uh, much-needed movement in the area. Why not? Why not? Definitely. Uh, in the Philo Park? Yes, yes, it is. It is good for the people, for the local people. It's to bring jazz out to the communities, the different communities. I think it's a, a good thing. So do you think it's a good initiative that they should bring back more national events back up in the Philo Park, like Carnival and those things? Do you think they Definitely. You see, San Lucia, is, every, every avenue is for the people. It has to start with the people. So the more you can bring it to the people, the better. The tourists will always come. Of course, yeah. Why not? Because they have been having it before, so why not? As a result of the jazz, it was successful and no incident. Well, not only the jazz, but I feel, you know, like to make progress, you know, everything to, to carry on, you know. I guess, you know. I mean, no Philip Park is the right place for that. I think yes, yes. Yes, we can have national events at Masha, yes. I approve it. Even Junior Creole for the Masha people. We should have a, a Junior Creole in Masha this year. That would be really, really nice for us. Yes, man. Yes, man, because you know, it's there from the time I woke up to this world, how much time. All the fellas that work in jazz and things, they're supposed to make Oliver. They suppose it, it, it's good because they, from the time we work in jazz, it's that always does happen and nothing never wrong, nothing has never happened. So it's irony. They could still keep it there again, my brother. So you think the national any events could happen there again? Any, any events, man. As long as it's safe, you take it? As long as it's safe, my brother, you take it? Because that's what we always do it from little boy. We grow up big, man, you take it? Nothing beats a try. They can try. If there's anything to go well, they will not continue, but they can try it because people do change. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. The opposition leader Alan Chastney says he has sought the intervention of the courts to settle the matter of his suspension from Parliament pending a retraction and apology for his allegations of corruption in the sale of the Bernans Bay land. Chastney says he has filed the matter in the High Court, adding that he would not be silenced. He says that he is doing this to protect and preserve St. Lucia's democracy. Some have argued that Mr. Chastney should simply comply with the ruling of Parliament by apologizing for the offending statements. So we ask, do you support the leader of the opposition's decision to seek to have the matter of his suspension from Parliament settled in court? Voting is easy. Just log on to hdsstlucia.org and vote. Remember, our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HDS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and a new discussion.